Hey guys, Doug here. I just finished my latest build. It's a uh, seven digit order specific combination lock that can actually accept up to 15 separate discrete combinations for 15 different users that might want to use it. So, uh, well, I've, on I've only got three combinations actually uh, programmed in there right now because it's kind, of, it's kind of a pain to do it. But uh, it's, it goes from uh, one to zero. That's uh, one over there, and this is zero. And uh, the the uh, users are actually uh, binary encoded, so the zero 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 isn't used. But uh, all the way up here, you got one 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 one, and uh, the user that's selected now is one 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 zero. So his is the only combination that's utilized, and it uses. Uh, well, I'll just start at the beginning. It uses a uh, four-digit binary uh, user ID system that uh, I'd use uh, T flip-flops to select through them, and uh, that's uh, used using this uh, handy piston uh, one wide T flip-flop. And then I go up, and then it, it branches off into this thing that uh, I des designed when I was bored at work one day. Just uh, simple on and off uh, lighting system for corners and uh, it's a binary this is a binary decompiler every every binary thing will only have one of these lights lit up and uh, then since uh, that's on well I'll give you an example since this combination is is all ones since that light is not on this track this track is activated so all the torches are unlit so uh, like for instance that should there's a torch right here and it's not lit and uh, all these are fed into these buses right here and as you can see right now Looks like the lowest digit is activated. I don't know why it should be the highest digit activated right now. Here, let me just reset this. I got resets all over the place. There's one. Alright, it should be the highest digit activated right now which is a seven so uh... all the all of them for all the buses that go through this uh... downward vertical transmission and the lowest bus and this goes into this ten digit transistor uh... lock system that i've used numerous times before if uh... a bit is lit up then it'll be a good bit and uh, the torch would be on Okay, so uh, then if you'd press it, for instance, uh, the combination is a 7, this would light up and then that would go and this is a good track. And it goes, well, it goes right here eventually into this pulse limiter, which activates this, uh, the bit counter. I'll get back to that. But if, like, uh, for instance, the com the combinations is seven. If you hit this is a, I don't know, a five. If you hit the the correct the wrong button, it goes through this wrong track. Follow the repeaters down here. Through another pulse limiter, and it resets the bit counter. And. Uh, Okay, so the combination is actually stored right there, but it's controlled by this bit counter. If you reset it, like I did, and I'll do again, it goes, whichever track is not lit up is the track that's active. For instance, this the first one, that's the very top one. See, it goes all the way up. Oh. 
I'll go over this too. How I uh, only ha allow one track. I've just got a simple thing. It uh, pushes it out on one side, and then it's got a monostable circuit on the other side. So uh, it pretty pretty simple to work. You don't. The timing's pretty good too. Uh, and uh, say, for instance, I get that one right. Look, the circuit can no longer go through because it's got glass and a piston arm in the way. All right. So, uh, for instance, if I hit a seven, which I, uh, I'll just go down here and hit the bit counter instead. Simulate a, a correct button press. It switches over to the next aisle over, which is the second from the top, and on and on and on until it gets all the way down to the bottom. And uh, right now, the only thing that, if you get the combination right, it turns on this light. So uh, let's uh, reset this beast and I'll show you. I'll prove that it works. And all right, the first torch is lit. Ow! Oh, wait, I'll, sh I'll show you some other stuff. Right here, it takes a it takes a second to reset, so I just got a little ding, so you know when it's ready. And uh, right here, this is kind of jumbled mess getting to the transistors. Uh, any anybody should be able to do that by themselves, but. All right, account number one 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 one. I know that combination. It's seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Whoa. Two. One. And that torch lights up. Awesome. Whoop. And uh, another thing I did was, uh, if you change the combination, it automatically resets the bit counter too. If you want to build it into a bank or something. Or I was thinking if uh, that torch lights up, then it spits out a specific storage minecart or something. So that way, if you uh, change the combination, it won't spit out the, uh, someone else's minecart. And, uh, well, this combination, I'll preview the capabilities right here. This combination, uh, 1110, is seven ones. Alright. Okay. And here comes the torch. There we go. And uh, I'll do one more combination. Because it's the only other one I have. 1010 one, zero, one, zero is actually Ginny's number. Eight. Six. Five. Oh, a six seven. <laughs> Five. Three. 
Well, it's 09, but I'll like say uh, I forgot Jenny's number, and you know, it's I thought it's 19. Oh no! Look at that. Reset. So uh, I know it's pretty large, but uh, it's pretty effect effective if uh, if you really want to just do like a regular order specific combination luck. Using a bit counter actually works pretty dang good to uh, delay delay the button presses. So, because uh, uh, all the other ones I have to build uh, pretty large things for every digit. This way it's just uh, one thing that the buttons go to and one thing that has the thing or the combination. But, uh, like I said, it's kind of hard to program, but, uh, it was, uh, it was fun to build, and, uh, I've been really wanting to build something lately, and I don't think anybody's built anything like quite like this. And, uh, well, if you, uh, like what you see, um, just, or you want to see something else, I'll, uh, do my best and uh thanks for watching and uh i'll uh i'll try to think of something new to build now